Action. Action. Where's that one of those little things? <laughs> yeah, we don't have that. So, okay. uh, Jim, can I touch this, those guys? Absolutely not? not. This is one of the few trees in the park that you do not want to touch, climb, or even stand under during a rain shower. What's, what does it do? This is called poison wood mm. for a very good reason. All parts of this tree um, will cause rashes, some severe, just through the touch. The leaves, the bark. The once bark as well? The bark as well. Wow. And once these trees mature, and this is about halfway there, even the bark will get characteristic black splotches. And you'll also get black splotches, and a few are starting on the leaves right now. This is a small poison wood here. Now, is it native to Florida? Yes, it is. This is actually a native tree. That's why it's here. And we just educate people, you know, do not touch, look. Mm -hmm. You know what, Jim? I think, I think I did get exposed to that poison wood because I had this rash right here on my arm, which I went, I went through a bunch of trees to, uh -huh. uh, to snorkel in the intercoastal. It took forever to go away. We've so had, it would cause we, a rash? Yeah. It'll cause a rash. It'll actually, I mean, just from the scratching, of course, some people, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll get so raw, it'll start bleeding. Oh, wow. It has put both employees, rangers, and uh, park visitors in the hospital for up to two weeks. So Holy what do you do? Because they, they, depending on the person, mm -hmm. the reaction can be mild to severe. So would you recommend uh, topical steroids or...? Anything that you would use for a regular rash, of course, I can't give out medical advice because I'm not a doctor. I'm just you only um, play one on that's TV? Okay, that's okay, Jim. Okay. I'm, I'm a doctor of pharmaceuticals, so I can... I can oh, okay. <laughs> um, anything you would use for a rash, Benadryl, um, any so, good cream, cortisol, yeah. hydrocortisone. Um, best thing is they do have a certain wash that you can use to mm -hmm. take the oils, help uh, remove the oils from where you know the contact was made mm -hmm. with the tree. The most important thing is don't scratch it. Don't touch it because if you touch it, you do this or this uh, or this, yeah. you're going to get it everywhere. all over your body. So it, it is extremely, extremely mm -hmm. poisonous. That's a surreal South Florida this? jungle. <laughs> What's that? It's a real jungle. <laughs> this. It, it, oh, I seen something like run by. Tree, but this is a sea grape. And this is a former national champion sea grape tree. Really? This one? Yes. It doesn't look that big. No, well, it, like I said, it, you know, through several hurricanes, of uh -huh. course, um, but it did have one large, uh, one no, very that, large I, I trunk. Mm -hmm. But the that was one of the highlights in the park was that uh, there was actually a national champion mm -hmm. tree sign in front of it. And uh, hmm. a national champion tree is, of course, the largest of its species in the country. Mm -hmm. Florida has the most number of champion trees in the United States. Wow. Yeah. The sea grape, the sea grape actually is one of our very popular native trees. This is typical of the leaf. The, um, it's its name because it does, when it goes to seed, there are bunches of grapes on the tree. Mm -hmm. And you can make jams, jellies, wine, just as you would with regular grapes uh, from a vineyard. During the times of the barefoot mailman, they would accept the sea grape leaf, and this is a medium-sized sea grape leaf, but they would accept these. You could take any kind of sharp object and carve a message mm -hmm. in the sea grape leaf. Wow. And the message would become embedded. The leaf would dry a little bit. Mm -hmm. You'd still leave the message, and it was considered um, legal post with the, with the U.S. Post Office. Wow. And a barefoot mailman would deliver this up and down the beach. This is another Florida native plant. It's a vine, and as you can see, it's fruiting right now, and that's where it gets its name. This is the snowberry oh. vine. Um, can you eat it? Don't know if it's edible or not. No. Let's try it. 